Hello guys, my name is Destiny, and I am here to share very important Nintendo news. The Nintendo 3DS has officially released an update for its console. Now, you're probably wondering, why? It's 2023, I thought that console was dead! Wrong! The Nintendo 3DS recently has risen again in popularity due to the fact that this console is an absolute beast. An emulating beast. It could do a pretty damn good job at emulating. GBA? NES? SNES? Nintendo is petty because you know damn well they want revenge. For anyone who has custom firmware, modded some of their games, or has even <clears throat> pirated some of their games, don't update. Do not update yet if you plan to mod your console in the future. Because, um, I don't know, maybe you want to mod your console and put Sonic and Mario Kart 7, which is totally a thing for some reason? Please note if you've gotten your console secondhand, you could be affected as well, even if you haven't personally modified the system. This update is most likely to stop everyone who uses HShop. If you don't know what the application is, it is where you are able to download games directly onto your console, even DLC and some DSiWare. Now, to check if your console has ever been modded, you need to follow the instructions that I will provide to check if it is. Step 1. Turn off your console. Step 2. Hold the select button. Step 3. Turn on your console while still holding on the select button. If you see some configuration menu of some sort, that means your console is modded. But if you haven't seen anything of the ordinary, then you have nothing to worry about. Now. If you do want to update your console, it is completely safe as long as you update Luma first because if you don't update Luma first, it poses a risk. As long as your device is running on Luma 10.2.1 or higher, it is 100% safe to update. Now, again, to check on your Luma version, you need to hold the select button while booting your device on, as I said before. If your device is an older Luma version, you should update Luma before you update your device. Now, please note if your device does not yet have custom firmware, do not update to the latest version as I had said before, because installation methods could be more difficult if you do want custom firmware. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in on to my video. Please share with your friends to make this news around the 3DS community around as soon as possible. Leave a like if you appreciated the news and subscribe for more videos.